Hello, friends. Welcome or welcome back to another touch up episode of Get Ready with America. Today, we're talking about the results in New Mexico's first congressional district special election that took place this past Tuesday. I'll link the full length video in the cards if you want to learn more about that election. Democrat Melanie Stansbury won the seat with 60% of the vote to Republican Mark Moores' 36%, a healthy win that was earned because the Democratic Party tried and the Republican Party did not. Let me explain. While this was the fourth special election to fill an open House seat this year, it was the first election where a Democratic candidate and a Republican candidate were directly competing for the seat. The previous three elections, two in Louisiana and one in Texas, were open primaries with multiple candidates of each party that resulted in a runoff election between two candidates of the same party, or in an outright win in the case of the Louisiana 5th. Democrats currently have a very thin majority in the House, gained in 2018 and diminished in 2020, so losing any seats between now and the 2022 midterms could spell doom for the party's chances of keeping the majority after the midterms. That means my favorite people, Dr. Joe Biden and Dougie Emhoff, fly into Albuquerque to rally supporters, and the Democrats would dump money into ensuring a win. On the other side, Republicans saw an uphill battle in a district that Trump lost by 23 points in the fall and has a significant advantage in registered Democrats, so they leave their candidate in the lurch. This is the kind of thing I find very annoying about strategy, looking at it as a zero-sum game instead of how you can make gains even if it doesn't mean winning outright. Losing by a small percentage in this race would have been a major gain for Republicans because it would have struck so much fear in Democrats for how hard it will be to hold on to seats next year. In Texas, where only a quarter of registered Democrats who voted in the fall voted in the special election, the party claims it didn't want to throw its support behind any one candidate, but then they did absolutely nothing to even get Democrats out to vote in general, and a candidate missed making the runoff by less than 400 votes. Parties leave really good candidates hanging all the time because they don't see the benefit of expending any resources and then wonder why they can't win when they actually want to. Anyway, Democrats keep the seat and replace my girl Deb Holland with someone who will continue to center environmental protection. To recap the voting itself, I'm excited to share that only 29% of the votes cast in this election were cast on Election Day itself. 18% of votes were cast by absentee mail-in ballot, and 54% of votes were cast during the early vote period. It's like people like the option of voting when it's convenient for them or something. I'll see you again next week to talk about the New York City primaries. Please like, subscribe, and check out my Patreon link in the description box if you'd like to support this work.